Hey guys, I have an upcoming 3D printing project that requires gluing a lot of pieces of PLA together. So I want to know what is the best glue for adhering PLA to itself. I've googled what's the best and what comes up is a glue called Weld On 16. But I figured I should do some testing on my own to see how well it works compared to other glues. So let's get right into it and see what's the best glue for PLA. I'm going to conduct two tests with several different adhesives. I printed off a bunch of flat pieces of PLA for testing, pieces like this. And for the first test, I'm going to sand the pieces of PLA for maximum surface area for the glues to adhere. For the second test, I'm going to leave the PLA pieces as is with no sanding. Before applying the glues, I wipe down all the pieces of PLA with alcohol to remove any oils or grease that might have gotten on it from my hands. Also, this is really anecdotal. So ideally, I would use a measured way to test the strengths of the glues, but regardless, my testing should give me a decent idea of how well each glue will perform. So for the glues that I'm gonna test in no particular order, contact cement, CA, AKA super glue, Weld On 16, General Purpose Goop, Plastic Model Cement, Polyurethane Glue, and lastly, Epoxy. All right, so the glues are set up for a few days and I'm ready to do some destructive testing. I'm going to first try to pull them apart and if they hold up, I'm gonna subject them to even more force by twisting them apart. So let's uh, check out the results. All right, contact cement, non-sanded. So just by pulling, it's holding. Let's try twisting. So contact cement sanded. So both the contact cement sanded and unsanded held up very well. All right, here's CA, not sanded. All right, CA, sanded. So the CA held up really well for both sanded and unsanded. Next up, Weld On 16. Model Cement. Very interesting, the model cement, while it melted some of the PLA, it didn't hold very well. That broke super easy, unsanded. Model cement sanded. Again, same result as the unsanded. Polyurethane. Whoa. That broke super easy. Unsanded. Polyurethane sanded. This one foamed up a bit too because I added a little too much water to activate it. Same thing. Polyurethane, AKA Gorilla Glue. That broke really, really easy. Took almost very little force. Unsanded goop. That broke really easy. The glue just peels right off. Sanded goop. Same result as unsanded. Very easy. And the goop also just peels off readily. Epoxy, unsanded. That just sheared off really easy. Epoxy sanded. Very similar result. 
Now, I don't know if that's the strength of the epoxy, but I've had really good luck with this epoxy for other things. Okay, wow, I was not expecting results like that. So I'll rank worst to best based on my limited sample size of testing. Coming in at number seven, polyurethane glue. I barely had to apply any pressure and the glue failed immediately, both sanded and unsanded pieces. In the number six position, I would rate epoxy. Not sure why, but I expected epoxy to perform better than it did. Usually, epoxies are great glues for adhering most materials together, so that was disappointing. Coming in in the number five position, all-purpose glue. This glue actually held about the same as the plastic model cement, but it seemed to flex a bit and peeled off the PLA, so I'm giving it a lower ranking than the model cement. So that means coming in at number four is the plastic model cement. This broke apart almost as easy as the goop, but it did melt the PLA a little bit, so I think it would hold a bit better than the goop. So far, I would not use any of those glues for PLA as they all failed catastrophically with mostly clean breaks. In the number three spot, contact cement. This actually held up surprisingly well. I actually didn't think this would be that strong, but it worked out really well with the PLA breaking before the glue. In second place, I would rate CA, super glue, slightly better than contact cement, but really they were both about the same strength and I really had to apply lots of pressure and twisting with the PLA breaking first and not the glue. So that leaves in the number one spot, Weld On 16. This stuff here is really strong and actually melts the PLA and forms a very solid bond between the PLA pieces. I've used it on a few different projects and it works on polycarbonate and acrylics too, so that's nice. Honestly though, the top three glues all perform excellent with CA and contact cement really surprising me and epoxy and polyurethane really disappointing me. I thought they would actually do a lot better than that. All the PLA pieces were sanded equally for all the glues in my testing. I think my testing was sound, but the results of the epoxy and polyurethane bugged me. So I did some retesting. So I wanna do an additional test with epoxy and polyurethane because those failed and I've had really good luck with those types of glues with other things. So I wanna make sure to give them a fair shake. So I've printed off some rigid pieces of PLA, sanded them very rough, and then I'm going to glue them, one with PLA and the other one with epoxy, just to test this one last time. Because with pieces of PLA like this that are thin and flexible, you can cause the glue to kind of fail by just kind of peeling it. Um, and it just, it, there's just not as much, I guess, structure for the glue to work with. So I think this would be one more test to give them a fair shake. All right, next day, epoxy. Let's see how well this holds up. Okay, that holds up really well. Okay, with the coarser sanding and the more solid objects, this holds up super well. Like, I can't break this. Ugh. All right, polyurethane. These hold with a caveat. As long as they're sanded really rough and the objects are more rigid, as opposed to having a bit of flex to it so that you can kind of peel it off. The epoxy, the epoxy and then polyurethane works very well, but it depends. I better retest some of the questionable uh, results, especially the plastic model cement. So I've re-glued this one. So let's see how well this holds up and I'm gonna not bend it from out here because I get more leverage, but I'll bend it out here. And I'm just reusing this piece instead of having to reprint. 
Okay, so plastic model cement, not that strong. It looks like the glue kind of broke before the actual, I guess, bond with the material because you can see here that on the white, it actually melted some of the PLA. But plastic model cement, yeah, not that great. And just for good measure, I re-glued the poly and the epoxy after sanding it with some really coarse sandpaper just to make sure to give this lots of surface area and a better chance of adhesion. Just to make sure, kind of like how I did on these blocks. So let's find out how these do. So here's the epoxy. A little better. Okay, well the PLA broke first, but it still looks like it's separating a bit here and I can kind of separate it with my hand. So I don't know, it's not bad, but it's not great. All right, polyurethane, same thing, resand it with really coarse sandpaper. Okay, again, I hit the camera just because where my arm is, but this broke, I would say, a lot better than the first time because the last time it just sheared right off. This time it's significantly better, but as you can see, well, I guess the glue broke before the actual bond with the PLA. So not bad, but still, I'd say Weld On 16 and CA would be the best, and even contact cement. So I wanted to make sure to give all these a fair shake uh, my methodology might be a little flawed, but I don't know. Post in the comment what you guys, uh, your experiences, and share with the rest of the 3D printing world. Um, anyways, that's what I found. The last thing to factor in is the top three glues also set very fast. So if you have parts that can't be clamped, go with the Weld On 16, CA, or Contact Cement. So there you have it, a very unscientific test of glues to use on PLA. So thanks so much for watching and subscribe to my channel for more esoteric videos like this. Also if you subscribe to me for surfboard building, I have a few builds coming this year so really look forward to those and I'll also be posting some travel videos from Southeast Asia soon too. So those will be kind of cool. Uh, I actually got a surf trip in on one of those as well so that was kind of fun. Uh, yeah, so that's about it, bye for now.